going, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill, and yes, it's time for another pop off with Madison. For today's pop off, I'm gonna be talking about Shanna Mokler and Scott Disick, so everybody just buckle up. Okay, that was slightly dramatic, I'm sorry. Basically, what I wanna fill you guys in on is the fact that Shanna Mokler has broken her silence when it comes to Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker's wedding. Also, we now know, thanks to a new report from E! News, how Scott Disick is feeling after he's had some time to process Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker's over-the-top Italian extravaganza. And obviously because both Scott and Shanna have had a lot of, let's just say, critical things to say about Courtney and Travis's relationship in the past, obviously I had to fill you guys in on what they think about this big wedding. Oh, and also before I forget, yes, today is also Scott Disick's birthday. As of the filming of this video, the family members who I've seen wish him a happy birthday publicly. Kim posted on her Instagram story, Mama Chris posted on her Instagram story, and of course Scott Disick's BFF Khloe Kardashian also posted on her story. But other than that, those are the only family members who I've seen publicly wish Scott a happy birthday, which really isn't either here or there. I just wanted to fill you guys in on that little added tea. But now let's go ahead and get into the reason why you clicked on this video and get into unwrapping the Scott Disick, Shanna Mokler, and Kravis facts. All right, so as you all know, Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker recently had their third wedding celebration this past weekend in Italy. It was a very extravagant affair. I feel like that's the best way I can describe this Kourtney and Travis Italian wedding. It was very over the top. It was gorgeous. And you guys, just a little added tidbit for you. E! News reports that their Italian wedding cost an estimated, again, this is an estimate, a guesstimate, if you will, $3.5 million. And that's everything. Talking flights, hotel, venue, food, drinks, everything. Anyway, I'm sure you guys have seen tons of photos and videos of Courtney and Travis's wedding flooding your timeline. I know I have. I've actually loved every single second of it. I'm a little jealous that I wasn't a guest at this wedding. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that I go to a lot of weddings. And I'm not gonna lie, seeing Courtney and Travis's wedding, although I did not love Courtney's dress, I did want to be a guest. It looked like so much fun. Okay, now that we've talked about the wedding a little bit in general, let's go ahead and dive into how Courtney and Travis's exes feel about this very over-the-top wedding. So first up, Miss Shanna Mokler, aka Travis Barker's ex-wife, she actually kept things very PC when it came to commenting and breaking her silence on how she felt about Courtney and Travis's wedding, which I'm not gonna lie to you guys, is kind of surprising because you know in the past, Shanna Mokler has not held back when it comes to revealing her true feelings about Courtney and Travis. She's called their PDA weird. She's talked about how their relationship is based on a movie that also bonded her and Travis. Like Shanna Mokler is just one to typically not hold back when it comes to Courtney and Travis. But in regards to their wedding, she actually had a very kosher statement. While speaking to Us Magazine, Shanna said, quote, I wish the happy couple a lovely marriage. I will continue to only want the best for my children. It was a beautiful gesture to include my children in such a gorgeous affair. I'm telling you, she kept it short and sweet, which honestly I'm not mad about. But now let's go ahead and get into how Kourtney Kardashian's ex Scott Disick felt about all of this. Now it goes without saying, you all know this, Scott Disick has not really been Kourtney and Travis's number one fan. I mean, hello, we all remember when he sent Kourtney's other ex, Eunice Benjamin, a DM talking ish on Kourtney and Travis and their PDA. He also had some really not nice things to say about Kourtney on the Kardashians Hulu show when it was brought up that Kourtney and Travis were engaged. If you remember, he said good luck to Travis. He said that Kourtney's really hard to deal with. Essentially, you get the picture. He's just never really Really love their relationship. Plus, if you watched my mini pop off earlier this week, you know that while Courtney and Travis were getting married, or shall I say, in the wee hours of Courtney and Travis's wedding, aka at 2 30 in the morning on a Monday, Scott Disick was actually seen at a strip club in New York. The people felt like he was trying to distract himself from the whole Courtney and Travis wedding situation. If you want more details about that and what he did at the strip club, go check out that mini pop off. But anyway, in this new report from E News, we now know how Scott feels about Courtney and Travis's wedding. And in this new report, a source said, quote, it's definitely hard for Scott to to see, but since Courtney and Travis have been celebrating their love for months now, it's been easier for him to cope. It's not as hurtful and he's getting through it. Now this source also mentioned that if Scott did want to witness Courtney and Travis's love in real life, he could have. As the source said, quote, Courtney extended an invite to Scott knowing he wouldn't come. She wanted this huge moment to be about her and Travis and knew the dynamic wouldn't be right having Scott there. I mean, I totally agree with Courtney. There's a rule that you shouldn't have exes at your wedding for a reason, but obviously I have a lot more thoughts about all of this. So let's not waste any more time and get straight to the champs and straight to the shambong because when talking about Scott and Shane Mokler, I definitely need one. Okay. 
Okay, so first up in regards to Shanna Mokler and what she had to say when she broke her silence on Courtney and Travis's wedding, I want to say I'm happy that her statement was short, sweet, simple, to the point. And while yes, it didn't give me overly nice vibes, it didn't give me overly congratulatory vibes, I didn't quite get shady vibes from it either. And for Shanna, that's a major improvement. Like I mentioned earlier, Shanna has definitely never held back when it comes to talking about Courtney and Travis, and she's definitely had a lot of negative things to say about them. But I think she's finally learned her lesson. She's learned that whenever she talks negatively about Courtney and Travis in the press, it affects her relationship with her kids. If you guys remember a while back, both Alabama and her brother Landon were going on social media and saying how they didn't have a relationship with their mom, how they hadn't seen their mom in a long time, how they didn't speak to their mom. And I think that was all because they really love Courtney. They really love the Kardashian family and they didn't like that Shanna was speaking poorly about them in the press. So I think Shanna has finally learned her lesson that she just needs to be nice. She needs to keep it sweet. She needs to keep it simple with Whenever she's talking about Courtney and Travis because whenever she doesn't it affects her relationship with her kids and I think speaking poorly about Courtney and Travis isn't really worth it. Now on to Mr. Scott Disick, the birthday boy if you will. When it comes to him I understand that he's still a little bit in his feels. He's still a little upset to see you know the love of his life marry someone else and be so over the top happy with this person but I do have a little issue with Scott Disick because I feel like he is all about the double standard and what I mean by that for example this source talked about how you know, well, yes, it's getting easier for Scott to cope with Courtney and Travis's relationship. It's still hard for him to see them so in love. And like I said on the Kardashian Tulu show, like I felt like he got really, really nasty when talking about Courtney and Travis's engagement. I did not like that. It did not sit well with me. Because meanwhile, while Scott Disick is playing the victim and boo-hooing and oh, woe is me, he's also on Instagram, you guys. This just happened a couple days ago, making a very pearl-clutching comment, if you will, on his rumored girlfriend's Instagram, Holly Scarfone. I don't know if you guys saw this, but she posted several photos of herself in a bodysuit and she captioned them saying, oh Lord, she's talentless. And Scott Disick commented on this Instagram post and said, I can think of a few talents you have right off the top of my head, no pun intended. So for me, I'm like, sir, I do not have very much sympathy for you because you're making comments like this on a 20 somethings Instagram post who you're allegedly dating while also having a hard time coping with Courtney and Travis's relationship and being a little bit in your feels. Like I obviously understand that a person can be both and can feel both ways. But in my opinion, whenever I see Scott Disick comment stuff like that, it just makes me have very little to no sympathy for him. And on top of that, when it comes to Scott Disick, well, yes, I do think he's a good dad and he definitely fulfills his dad duties. But when it comes to everything else, like dating these younger women, making these comments, whining about Courtney and her relationships, like to me, I just feel like it's getting old and it's not cute anymore. Courtney has moved on. She's found someone who treats her how she deserves. And I think Scott Disick also needs to move on and maybe find someone who's a little more compatible on his level. That way he's not continuously just a little bit jealous of what Courtney has with Travis. You know what I mean? I don't know. Of course I could go on and on about Scott Disick, but before I wrap this video up, I do also want to just overall talk about Courtney and Travis's Italian wedding because I haven't gotten a chance to really talk about it in depth with you guys. So breaking everything down, and this is how my sister and my mom and I like to kind of go through weddings. When it came to the venue, I thought the venue was absolutely freaking gorgeous. I also loved all of the Dolce & Gabbana decor. I know some people hated it. Personally, I liked it because I felt like it was very Italy. I felt like it was exactly what they wanted. Now, I do know that the people behind Dolce & Gabbana are very controversial. They've said some really horrible things. They've even talked trash on the Kardashians before. I do know all of that, but taking that aside and just looking at the decor, I thought that it was actually really gorgeous and really on theme. Now, speaking about Courtney's dress, I know I've already said this, but it was just not my personal cup of tea. I felt like Courtney kind of already did that like goth punk rock thing at, you know, the Vegas wedding and the Santa Barbara Courthouse. So for this Italian wedding, I was really looking for her to serve something super elegant and timeless and she definitely did not do that. But in an effort to be positive, I will say her looks were very her and Travis. They were very her and Travis's style, very her and Travis's brand. So as long as they're okay at looking at those outfits for 25 and 50 years to come, then that's on them. That's good for them. Just me personally, I was looking for Courtney to be a little more elegant in this Italian wedding. But hey, it's not my wedding, it's theirs. Truly, you guys, the one thing about this wedding that I really was the most jealous that I didn't get to experience was the food. And if you've been to a wedding, even if you've only been to one, or if you've been to several like myself, you know that wedding food is really, really, really difficult. But the food at Courtney and Travis's wedding looked absolutely spectacular. They had the pasta, they had a cannoli bar, there was endless champs. Like I was just super, super jealous of the food. The DJ looked fantastic. It looked like a great time. Everyone was dancing, letting loose. Like I think 
like that whole part looked absolutely amazing. And like I said, it definitely looked like a wedding that I kind of wish I was invited to. I do also want to mention before I wrap things up that there are reports that Courtney and Travis are going to have an LA celebration. So who knows what that's going to look like. But obviously once it happens and if there's any tea involved, I'll be sitting right here to fill you in about it. All right, you guys, that is the latest I have on Scott Disick and Shanna Mogler and their reactions to Courtney and Travis's wedding extravaganza. I want to hear all of your thoughts and feels down below. While you guys are at it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. For more content, make sure you follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, don't forget to keep coming back to my channel to check out my YouTube shorts. You guys can also find all of my merch over at my merch store at houseofhill.com. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.